ladies and welcome to another video. Today, as you can see, I'm not in my regular filming setup and that is because I was filming a video for my blog channel. In today's video, I'll be doing something that some of you have loved so much. This has been my most ever watched YouTube videos. I have a local Goodwill that I like to visit every so often and I have gotten the chance to find pretty good deals when it comes to nail polishes. Well, I do not know what are your thoughts about secondhand products, and while there are items that I would not buy secondhand, nail polish are not a problem to me. Pretty much what I'll be sharing with you is the unbagging of these, these two nail polish bags. In the past, I have found such good deals. And if you have not watched my previous videos, you are missing out. I'm going to link those down below. For now, I'm going to focus on today's finding and I'll give you all the details. And please, don't forget to subscribe because I do post a lot of fun stuff, nail art related, and all kind of nail art products that you might enjoy if you're a nail art lover like me. Let's keep watching. And here we go. This is the first bag. This one, as you can see, was $6.99 and these items are not returnable. They usually sell these items by themselves, but after a while they put them in a bag. This is the reason why I bought this bag. Along with some other cool nail polishes that are in here, there are lots of different brands. If you like my nails today, this was for my third Instaversary, so if you want to watch the tutorial, you can head to my Instagram or check the link down below. Let's dive in. I will show you and I will go straight to my favorite nail polish. This is by the brand Bonita. I have tried their polishes before and I do like them, but this one seems just so unique. It already gives me that mermaid nail art vibe so not sure what i'm gonna do with it but i am really really excited to try it out another favorite is this one by funky fingers i have lots of nail polishes from their brand and i do love how they have all these kind of cool different colors this is kind of like a dual chrome because it does look blue but also purple-ish so that is going to be an interesting swatch video in the bag, they also had some wet and wild polishes and some LA colors from which I don't have many nail polishes of. I do not know how good is their quality. For sure, this gray polish did call my attention, so I might want to try that. And this Sally Hanson is a blue topper, I believe. It has that holographic glitter and it also has like a clear base. I think it will look good as a topper. It also came this lime green and this one by pure eyes which if i'm not wrong is a shade that i already have this one by funky fingers is one of those cracking effects which i don't have many i do remember them being popular a long time ago so not sure how this one is going to work but the color is a hot pink with some glitters then is their Jordana nail polishes, which I have never tried, so I'm not know much about them. And there's also some random brands that I have never heard of and never seen before. So that was definitely an interesting finding. And this one right here just happened to be very similar to the color I'm using on my manicure. And this is everything that came in the first bag, a total of 16 nail polishes for $6.99. Second bag is a lot smaller and it was a dollar cheaper. This is the only reason why I bought this bag. The other colors don't really caught my attention except for this glitter by Funky Fingers. But I already know this is sort of like a hit or miss except that you can see what you're getting. But in the end, it always seems to be worth it. I went in straight for that nail polishes that I like the most and the reason why I like it so much is because it's a black base polish but it does have some holographic glitter in there. I like it that it's not that saturated holographic effect, it's just kind of like spread. I'm not sure what is that called but it does look pretty nice and I'm also really excited to swatch that one which by the way I will show you at the end of this video. This is a brand that I have never heard of and I don't own polishes from them, but it's just a cute color. 
In this bag there was a random lipstick which is brand new but there is no way I would try that or put that on my lips. Another favorite that came in this bag is this Chunky Glitter by Funky Fingers. And guess what? I also got a repeated shade except that this one is not brand new as the other one which already had the seal on the cap. As I said, I have never tried this brand before. It's just going to be interesting to see how this polish wears. Another great finding is this baby blue SNL polish. That one itself would retail for $1.99. And as you can see, there is another tag underneath and that one is from Target. So anyways, I also liked a lot this white polish by Revlon. And then we were left with a bunch of these gel-like finish by the brand Wet n Wild. I have never tried these polishes and I got repeated shades. Actually, those two were the same and then I got a third one in the same bag. I really like the hot pink and the red. They do look very vibrant. So I kind of would like to see how those polishes were. And if you have ever worn them, please let me know in the comment section. And here is all that I got in that second bag. These are 10 polishes for $5.99. So that brings me to a total of 26 nail polishes for $12.98. I feel like I have done better in the past, but I'm still pretty happy and satisfied with my purchase. And right here you have my top 5. The names of these polishes are going to be in the description box and I'm also going to be sharing some swatches with you right now. Alright, so the Hot Pink by Funky Fingers was good after two coats, but for my disappointment, it wasn't one with the cracking effect, so that means that the cap just had this label that was very misleading. These other Funky Fingers did not disappoint. The only thing is that I'm not swatching it on my natural nails, so I'm not sure how many coats it will take for it to be fully opaque. Too bad that I cannot share the name of this polish with you because it did not have one but the good thing is that it looks gorgeous after two coats and I cannot wait to wear it. This Bonita nail polish did look pretty in the bottle but I'm not so sure how I feel after I swatch it. I will definitely have to put this on some nail art and see how I feel. And this Baby Blue by Essie, it is a stunner, it's good after two coats and I'm simply in love with it. Alright, and that is everything that I have to show you today. As you notice, buying secondhand nail polishes is so cheap and it just makes me happy that they continue to have a life after they have been drifted because that would be sad that they just go to the trash. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also let me know in the comment which were your favorite nail polishes. Did you like my favorites or did you like different shades? Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.